Welcome to the 90s and early 2000s, where being a child meant endless adventures and zero responsibilities. Fast forward to today and we are stuck in the chaos of adulthood. Come with me, let's explore why arguably millennials had the best childhood, but are now living through the worst adulting crisis. Remember those carefree days? Running around until sunset, playing with friends and getting into trouble without a care in the world? We were the last generation to experience life without smartphones. Imagine that. You look back at our childhood and we were climbing trees. You can't see that in today's generation. Kids today are glued to their screens, swiping through social media, not having a lot of interest to go and play outside. Now look at us. As millennials, we are now into adulthood. And congratulations, you have successfully treaded your carefree childhood life with a life of stress and responsibility. And nobody can remember how this happened. It's like switching from a fun ride straight into a broken matatu. Good luck all you out there millennials. I mean talk about cost of living skyrocketing, unpredictable job markets and so on. Most millennials are left struggling trying to make ends meet and spoiler alert, it is not easy. Let's not forget that millennials are trapped between two very different worlds. I mean we grew up with the strict discipline of our parents who had their own set of challenges and now we are trying to raise kids in a world that prioritizes self-expression and mental health. Trying to balance between the two, the discipline of our parents and this kind of self-expression world. What gives? I mean, if you talk to older generations, they tend to feel that millennials are a bit too lenient with their children. While all millennials are trying to do is to allow their kids to be comfortable to express themselves, not just a matter of obeying the rules. I look at this and I can't help but wonder, what really changed within just a couple of decades? Anyways, coming back, that is about parenting, which is a story for another day. Going back to the issue of millennials and adulting, a good question to ask is, how did our parents manage to make adulthood look so easy? Of course, they faced their own challenges, but looking at millennials now, it's like we are drowning in a sea of expectation and a lot of pressure. Most millennials are actually nostalgic for simpler times, while trying to navigate the complexities of adult life. It is quite ironic, right? I mean, we learned resilience from climbing trees and playing outside, only to come and face anxiety in adulthood. Question is, what will the next generation look like? Our parents made things look so easy. The same cannot be said for millennials right now. But looking into the future, are future generations going to thrive in this tech-driven world or struggle even more? Again, arguably, and looking back, millennials had the best season to be children. But adulthood? <sighs> This is a totally different ball game. It's a wild ride of ups and downs. But as we navigate these challenges of adulthood, we are left with more questions than answers, really. I mean, how did previous generations make adulthood look so easy? And if things were not easy, then they must have been so good in making things invisible. And looking into the future, what will coming generations face in this rapidly changing world? So what do you think? Am I being nostalgic as a millennial or I might be onto something here? What do you think about this, this thing of adulthood? How will the next generation handle such changing times? I mean, you can share your thoughts in the comments on this issue of adulting and growing up. And let's keep the conversation going. I mean, if if I'm onto something and we are going down, we might as well go down together. See you in the next one.